Hey guys and gals, um, addressing you as Nick today, not bloggy, not war boss Nick, just as Nick. Uh, we all know what's been going on in my life. I've been very candid and open about it. And over the past month, I've been doing a lot of soul searching and evaluating everything and just looking at life in general. And over the past week, I've been looking at uh, this hobby aspect of my life, and I'm really not feeling it anymore. It's, I feel at this point, it's time that could be better served doing other stuff that makes any sense. It's not that I don't love the hobby. It's the hobby is great. It's just, it's takes up a lot of time, takes up a lot of money. Those are two things that are coming at a premium right now in my life because of the changes in my life. I've had to take on a second job, which means less free time. I am now a single father as I've been very open and candid about, and my free time is a valuable asset to me. And uh, how's the best way to put it? And my free time, I feel I could be put better, better put towards uh, making up for lost time with my daughter. I am not good at time management. I'm not good at focusing on multiple things. For somebody with ADD, that's very odd. We're supposed to be all over the place. And no, as an adult with ADD, I try to learn how to focus on just one thing and one task at hand. And it kind of gives me what's tunnel vision. While I was married, um, I, I still am married technically, but while the marriage was working, um, I wasn't very good at here's wife, t here's wife time, here's daughter time, here's daughter and wife time. It was either I was focusing on the wife or the daughter. The daughter came from another woman, not my wife. So... And those two butt heads all the time. It was, I'm not against that, that dynamic. That's neither here nor there. That's not something I should have even brought up in this video. But now the topic of this video, this hobby has been a great distraction for me. This hobby, when my debt, time to break down more of that fourth wall, F February 9th, of this year will be the four year anniversary of my dad's passing. I use this hobby to distract myself from it helped me get through the loss of my father. So that was a good thing that came out of this hobby. But at the same time, it also fast forward almost four years. It was also a distraction. Like as I was building back up into this hobby. I've stepped in and out of this hobby multiple times over the past seven years. And sometimes I stepped out for financial reasons, had to sell everything. And then when money got better, I slowly stepped back into it. The great thing about this hobby is these armies are investments. When shit hits the fan, you're going to take a hit on an army when you sell it to pay bills, but you can still sell it for some good monetary value. When I sold my second run of Dark Angels, I sold it for $800. And that, believe you me, that helped us stay afloat big time. This time that I'm stepping away, I'm not selling anything. I'm not stepping away because of monetary reasons. I am, but I'm not. Um. This hobby 
it's a big financial distraction and hobbies always come after bills and rent. Now, the money that I'm, that I would have used to continue this hobby, I've, I've decided to step away from the hobby. Um, when my dad passed, he left me a 1979 Corvette. Fun fact, when he was still alive, due to a error with the nitrous system, his nitrous solenoid was stuck in the open position. He went to go start it. He blew the carburetor off the intake manifold and the top end is all sorts of messed up. I inherited that Corvette four years ago. With the knowledge I have, it's a shame that that Corvette is still sitting behind that truck over there, not running. It's not running because I do have knowledge, but just like this hobby, car parts are expensive. I need to step away because I've neglected that car for too long. That car is my part of my dad's legacy. I decided one of my New Year's resolutions is I want to get that car running by mid-year this way so I could be closer with dad, if that makes any sense to any of you. This way, so I can be closer to dad, I can take it on a couple cruises this, this summer. And if I'm still involved in this hobby, the financial distraction from this hobby would stop me from being able to basically get that Corvette back up and running. It only needs a top end. I'm thinking about throwing a short block in it, then building the top end up the way I want to, because I don't like the short block that's in it from the factory. I'm not going to go too much into it. Some of you probably aren't, most of you probably aren't gearheads, so it would be a whole nother language to you. I'm stepping away because... I need to get rid of this distraction that is his hobby for now. The time, energy, and effort that I put into this hobby, I need to start directing back into some of the more important things in life, like my daughter getting this car, getting that car up and running, and just getting a better direction on life. Part of the reason that I didn't notice that my marriage was falling apart was because I let myself be distracted by this hobby. Not, I'm blaming the hobby, but I'm not blaming the hobby. My wife freaking hated the hobby, to tell you the God's honest truth. She thought it was a big waste of time and thought it was a kid's hobby. You're playing with your toy soldiers, as she put it. And it this hobby did not drive her away, but it also distracted me and I didn't see the big picture of what was going on around me, which that's my fault. So I'm not blaming the hobby. I'm blaming myself. I'm the one that destroyed. There was mutual problems. We, my wife and I are the ones that destroyed this marriage, but I need, I need the time that I'd put into this hobby to, uh, fix, fix the car to, uh, put towards spending time with my daughter to work this second job so I can afford rent, electric, cable, cell phone. Uh, what else is important in life? Uh, car parts for that car and to keep this lovely truck running. She's getting a little older. Things are starting to wear out as they do. So, I really need to start concentrating on other things. Uh, I may not be walking away forever. This may not. And when, if I do come back to the hobby, I'm going to continue on with this channel. This channel may just be pausing. This may be my final swan song. This may be a temporary swan song. I, I didn't want to go away without, saying bye to my fabulous, amazing, amazing subscribers. I enjoyed each and every interaction I had with you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys have been so supportive over this 
shit storm that has came up and I can never, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can never show my appreciation enough for that. I appreciate it so much. All of your kind words when this shit storm started happening and your support really helped boost me up really in my darkest of times. It's odd that I'm making this video in such a dark time of the day. I just wanted to bang out this video real quick while there was still some sunlight left. I kind of look like Lord Darth Sidious or the Emperor. Maybe I should put my hood up. That might be fun, but no. Um, basically, what I want to say is thank you for all your support. Thank you for being there all this time. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing, giving my videos a thumbs up. All of that meant a lot to me. All of it, I'm Italian. We have egos as far as you can see. All of that helped build my ego and made what I was doing with this channel worth it because I saw that people enjoyed what I was doing and cared about what I was doing. So it really drove me. Right now, I don't have the time, energy, or money to keep this going. And my time, energy, and finances are better suited somewhere else but this hobby. This time, me walking away, I'm not going to sell anything. I may be back. This may be a temporary thing. I may be back in three months. I may be back in six months. Maybe a year down the road when my life is more stable, when my car is up and running, and when I can be the bloggy you guys all came to love and enjoy and that you watched all the time. I can't be that right now. Right now, I have to be my daughter's father. Right now, I have to be, I just need to be me, not bloggy. And I can't be bloggy because he's not there right now. And I'm going to miss this. I loved interacting with you guys. I'm going to miss this hobby. I'm probably going to be back. And when I'm back, it'll probably be down the road. And you, this probably isn't the end, but... I just wanted to say, I just didn't want to just walk away and not say something. But this is goodbye for now. I'll probably be back. Happy New Year's, guys. And hopefully everybody, ha hopefully everybody does well. <laughs>